season five. Two kind of stories that we have to find out now. Think about those in space. What are they doing at this point? Getting back to Earth, Clark was like trying to contact Bellamy, but it hasn't succeeded. Another ship comes from space. So there's new people that arrives to Earth. It turns out that they aren't good and they want the Earth to themselves. There is someone down in the bunker now who has basically turned her whole life upside down. In the bunker, Octavia has taken charge of everything and she becomes just completely crazy. <laughs> this season six. We have a new plant now. They find out a little bit kind of settlement. There are people actually down there. The leaders, they have found a way to live forever. Then there's this green flame coming up all of a sudden. It's like a portal. No one who has gone in has ever come back. And now we come to the seventh season. That's where you are, you and I are at now. We aren't that far in into the season. What are we? Four episodes in now? Yeah, four, four or five. We're just basically finding out what's happened on the other side of this fog or at the side of the flame. We also find out a person named Hope, which is Yosa's daughter in the future. This portal is to another planet. We can't really say much more, can't we? No, not really. Uh, maybe a little bit. I think we'll miss some stuff from, the, from season six now. <laughs> like what happened with Sanctum. But basically the 100, they, they managed to defeat those evil people in Sanctum. But then there's everyone else who were on their side who wants revenge and the main leader, he's still alive. He, he is the one who's called the main prime or something like that. He's their god, basically, but he really isn't. He hasn't just told the truth to these people. And primes are the, the leaders who, who switch, who like kill Nightblood's people to put their minds, mind drives into them and continue to live forever. They call themselves primes, like they're gods or something, but they're just, they're just killing people, pretend and like telling their people that this person died so me, who is a god, can continue to live and like they, everyone's brainwashed basically. <laughs> It's a strange season, I say that. But from there on, we, we can't really say more. We don't know what's going on now. Thoughts on this uh, series, what do you think? Uh, I think it's been very good. Like, each season has been really exciting and like, they always come up with like new stuff. It's really fun because a lot of shows, they get, you can tell that the writers get, they lose their creativity as the show goes on. But I feel like the one with the 100, they have always come up with new stuff. Even now in the last season, there's like a lot of new stuff that makes you wonder how they're going to like, have the time to tell everything new in this last season before it's over. I definitely agree. For each season they always came up with something that is even stranger than what happened in the season before. Me, myself, I think the, everything is great. Both the acting, uh, they are great at expressing, expressing themselves, how they feel, the story is very well written. Stuff actually comes around and goes around. Nothing makes sense, but that's also the fun thing with this. Like, it's over the top. I don't think you will find something as crazy as the 100 anytime now in Netflix. Although I haven't seen much on Netflix. I don't know how much you're watching it. Yeah, I've seen some shows, but the 100, I haven't seen anything that's quite like that. Now when we talked about all the season and everything, what we think about this, we have to also ask ourselves, who is playing Clark, who is playing Bellamy and all that stuff? Where can you see these guys anywhere else but this show? And I think that's a good time we're doing that. Just stay tuned and we'll talk about that. All right, let's now go through which people we have in this season. So, uh, Josephine, take it away. Yes, we have Clark, who is played by Eliza Taylor, and she is, she is known from Neighbors. Bellamy is played by Bob Morley, and he is known from Home and Away. Octavia, played by Marie Avegero. Good luck saying that. I had so hard time trying to understand what he said. Marie Avgerporfius. Uh, um, she's known from Percy Jackson Lightning Thief and Jasper, played by Devon Bobstick, and he is known from Oppenheimer. It's a movie that's going on right now in the cinemas. Yeah. So next up here we have Raven, who is played by Lindsay Morgan, who is in How I Met Your Mother. We also have Kane. Uh, he is played by Henry. What have I written here? Henry Cusick. Cusick. Thank you. And he's in Lost. We also have Murphy, which is played by Richard Harmon. And he is known for If I Had Wings. And he actually had a, uh, some kind of nominees for something. Not Oscars, but something else. We have Abby, who plays by Paige Tur... Tur... You, you see me writing it here. 
And she is in uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2 and 3, the really old ones from the 90s, 80s, I don't really know. You see a picture here, you probably know. And in the end here we also have Monty, played by Christopher Larkin, and he is in, well, he's f famous for the 100. But with that said, we thank you everyone so much for uh, watching this episode, and uh, thank you for being on this episode, Josephine. Yes, it was very fun. <laughs> I think so too, so uh, thank you guys for much watching, and I'll see you next time. As well. But in the end, it seems that... Oh, we have a visitor, okay, okay. That was scary. Mm. <laughs> uh,